Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a couple of cardboard medieval shields. I've uh, made two different types here. They're kind of nice. And uh, they're a little bit more than just a normal cardboard shield. And I'll show you how to do that. And I, I, this, this tutorial shows you pretty much everything. But see on the back here is a handle for the buckler. And in the back here, this one's kind of nice. There's two hands, so you can hold it like that, or you would hold it like this. Put your arm in there and hold it like this. And the nice thing about this shield is this is that it's curved, which is just makes it a little bit nicer. So, it took me about an hour and a half to make both of these shields. I had all the materials on hand. And I'll give you some options on how to do them and what to do and how to make them look nice like that and make them sturdy. Here are the materials that you need. Uh, some nice big pieces of cardboard, some poster board, some paints, some some tools to cut the cardboard with, and uh, some masking tape. Now I'm I'm going to use some spray paints. I may use some acrylic paints. You don't have to use spray paints. Um, if uh, young kids are involved, I'd say don't use the spray paints. Just use acrylics and have them painted up. The reason why I have the poster board is because cardboard is um, you know nice for working with, but it's not going to look so good painted. But after you make a shield, you could paint the cardboard and then not use poster board. I got poster board because that way I can kind of give it a really nice surface and make it look really good. So uh, that's the basics of what you're going to need to make yourself some shields. If you if you don't have cardboard, now I just cut up a cardboard box here, a pretty big cardboard box. If you don't have cardboard, uh, you can get some pretty easily. Just go to any local store and ask them for some big boxes and see what they got. Try a few stores. Uh, stores get hundreds of boxes every week. You should be able to get some boxes real easy. So a quick trip there will get you some cardboard for your shield. If you um, if this is the first video that you're watching for, for me, I also have a nice tutorial on how to make cardboard swords. So you might want to check that tutorial too. But just some time for Halloween. Or for uh, some live action role playing if you wanted. So uh, I'll, I'll get started on this and I'll show you more. Okay, I've cut out my poster board and my cardboard to make my shield shapes. You can see the buckler here and the kite shield here. <clears throat> Come out really nice. Uh, a couple of things I wanted to say. Our buckler shield is going to be flat. I think I'm going to leave that flat. That'll be easier. But our kite shield, I want it to be curved like this. I want it to have a nice curve on it that's going to look good. You don't have to do that. You can leave yours flat if you want. But a little bit of a curve will actually make it look a lot better. But an important thing to know if you're going to make yours curve is to get the grain correct on the cardboard. The grain on this cardboard goes this way. You can see the lines in the cardboard. So take a look at it. If the lines are going that way, side to side on your shield, you'll be able to get a little curve on that without it bending, without it um, actually collapsing or folding on you. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get the lines this way. If, if you get it the wrong way, it'll end up just collapsing like this. So you don't want that to happen. So that's just something to think about. And what I'm going to do is, and I think you probably should do this too, is now that you've got these cut out, you might want to paint them first. Get them all painted up, and then you don't have to worry about them. And then you can fix them with the glue stick to your the frames of your shields once it's done. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to I'm going to paint them up. I'm going to start building, and I'll show you how I get that done. Okay, I'm going to show you how, the trick to how to get a curve on this <clears throat> on this shield. What I've done here is I've made myself a back panel for the cardboard, and I've attached it to the back of the shield like this, taped it up really well, and if you'll notice, it's about a half inch shorter than the shield, so this is what you do. You take that, and then you press on the shield, and see the curve show up? A nice curve like that, which is exactly what you want. You get a nice curved shield, and this will be where we'll put our arm piece. So, make it about a half inch shorter, and you can probably go as much as an inch, but it's going to be quite a curve, so the, 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 the shorter this is, the bigger your curve. So press it down and then tape it in place. Put tape on it. And then you'll have a nice curve on the shield. It'll bow out like a, like a bow. So that's how you do that. And it's got to be pretty strong, so make sure you tape it up really strong with um, duct tape. So I'm going to do that, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, the frame for this kite shield is just about done, and I wanted to show you a couple of things. Say I have a nice curve on it. See, so it's got a nice curve. We'll be ready to apply the, the face to it. And I made the handles in the back. And this is the general setup like this, is you make a big hoop like this and a small hoop to grab onto so you can hold the shield like this. But, and remember, 
depending on which arm is your sword arm, make sure you arrange these the correct way. If your sword arm is your right hand, your left hand is going to be in the shield like this. So, if your sword arm is the left hand, you reverse these so you can get in with your other arm. And, I made these little straps out of cardboard, and I only put a little bit of tape on them for right now so you can see, but make sure you tape these up real good. You can put tape on these, tape them up really strong because that's where you're going to hold on. You want to be really strong. So put a lot of tape on those, wrap them totally, and uh, get them really, really well, nice and tight. So this, this kite shield is done except for the front that I'm going to put on it. So I'm going to decorate that front, and I'll put that on, and I'll just attach that to the front with glue stick, and I'll show you how that comes out. Okay, let me show you a couple of points about final assembly of these shields. For the buckler, I put a, I, I painted a bowl, a plastic bowl, gold, and glued it right down like that. If you can do something with the buckler to put in the middle like that, it's kind of nice. That's, um, you can even make something out of cardboard like this. Make a little thing, a little ornament out of cardboard and stick it to the middle of that. It makes that, sort of, that shield a lot more attractive. And you paint it and put it right down on there. See, and I spray painted made, made it kind of easy for me. You can paint it any way you want. And I just glued that paper right to our cardboard. And on the back here is a single handle is all you need for a, for a buckler. And um, tape it up real good. I didn't tape it fully, but make sure this t handle's nice, tape nice. Lots of duct tape on there, and you'll be good to go. So that's the final assembly of the, the buckler. Now this shield, which came out really nice, I put this design on there. It looks really good. Same thing applies. I, I, I uh, glued the paper, the the poster board down to the cardboard shield. And on the back, I've done a little bit more on this, so this thing's ready to go like that. So, that's how you make um, a couple of shields ready for Halloween or ready for some fun. And uh, I, if I didn't already mention it, make sure you put these handles on the correct way, depending on which arm is going to be your shield arm. So, like that. So, have fun and a happy Halloween. So, a couple of things. You don't have to use poster board if you don't want. I mean, just paint the cardboard, but it looks much better with the poster board. And use any kind of materials you can. Decorate this, do a drawing on that, download some pictures, and, uh, and have fun with it. Just make it nice and sturdy if you can. And uh, I, have more pic I have more pictures and more information about these on my website, stormycastle.com.